What's going on, Wastelanders? Draco Invictus here with another Let's Build at Finch Farm. We are continuing our Viewer's Choice series, and it is day two of Beach Day. Now, if you didn't catch day one of Beach Day, I'm gonna put a little card, a little notification thing up in the upper right-hand corner about right here, and uh, you can just click that and watch that video. And if not, well, sit back and enjoy the show. We're gonna go ahead and jump into build mode. I went ahead and sped this video up because the other one ran kind of long. So I wanted to kind of narrow this one down. So let's go ahead and jump into build mode. And here we go. So we built this thing. It looks like it's floating. It's awesome. It's a great little pier kind of a thing. And we are gonna be building on both sides of this, not much on the right hand side, but we are gonna be putting in some water purifiers and a small uh, boat dock. And uh, so let's go ahead and jump into this. Now in the uh, Port Royal mod by Ethreon, he has these great, I mean, it's all like water-based stuff. And so I'm gonna be using that a lot. It all snaps to other, I mean, his snap points are great. Everything works out really well. So I'm creating this like pier that is essentially just going to be a something to focus our water purifiers around. This isn't going to be a huge settlement, even though it's a large size. But we're going to go ahead and drop in a few water purifiers just to fill out this area over here. So now we're going to jump over into our water and we're going to go for the big boys here. And I'm trying to get them as close, you're gonna see me fidget with this back and forth and back and forth. I'm trying to get them up so that the spigot would be a decent level and I'm just fighting it, fighting it, fighting it, you know, stupid bastard. I'm trying not to use place anywhere as, as much as I can, but here it is, you know, I'm having to use it again. See, that's a decent level right there. It's close, it looks good. And once you get out of build mode, you don't see that the uh, the shadows, you don't see that the legs aren't actually touching the bottom of the, uh, the, the water basin here. So again, here I'm trying to get it close. I'm trying to get it elevated. I'm like, you son of a bitch, why can't you just move closer? Because it's, it's colliding with under the underside of the, the flooring there. So, yep dicking around with that for entirely too long <laughs> so and that's another reason why i kind of sped this video up i hope you guys are having a wonderful day i of course am having a great day i get to make videos for you guys and uh, hang out with you a little bit i love talking with you guys down in the comment section if you do have any comments or questions or kicks or complaints go ahead and leave them down in the comment section i am very adamant about making sure that i try and answer everyone especially if they ask me a question if you just leave me a thumbs up or a smiley emoji or something like that then that's okay too you know i i will at least give it a like so um, I appreciate it. Speaking of likes, make sure to give a big like to this video, give it a big thumbs up. And um, that's one of the ways that YouTube lets, or you let YouTube know, this is the content that I want to see. It used to just be you subscribe and, and you would see all the content from whoever you were subscribing to. And then they added the bell notification icon. Okay, so cool. Now we subscribe and click the bell notification icon. Well, as their algorithm keeps changing and it keeps looking for things that you want to see, it's becoming more and more complicated to, uh, to actually bring you or deliver you that, that, that video, whatever it is that you want to see. So now you have to fully engage. The more you engage with my videos, the better better chance you will have of seeing more of my videos. So if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. Uh, click the bell notification icon. Smash the like button, give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment. All of these things help YouTube go, hey, this person wants to see more of Draco Invictus because they're really engaged with his videos. So that's just my little, uh, my little information there. So as you can see, I was wiring underground and stuff like that. Now I want to put in something to kind of protect these water purifiers. So I'm like, hmm, maybe some half walls, you know, all the mods that I'm running give me all these great additional things that all fit in with the game. See, that looks great right there. So now I'm going to end up 
you know, I'm looking at different junk walls. Look at that, office junk walls, awesome. So then this is just a regular junk wall. It's actually sitting on the floor of the, uh, the basin there. And it's the right height. So now I'm hoping, okay, well, maybe they'll all snap together. Oh, it snapped perfectly. You gotta love it. Now we'll throw this one in with tires because tires are cool. I mean, in the game, they're cool. Tires in real life are nasty and a pain in the ass and heavy as hell. And <laughs> But in the game, they look great. See, that looks awesome. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the other side as well. And of course, there's a lot more distance between the land and that dock. So I will, um, I will have to, you'll see me running back and forth and swimming across and doing all those things. Yeah, I'm looking through the, you know, different fences that I have. Oh, look, beach, fen beach fencing, that's nice. You see that at um, uh, Nordhagen. That, you definitely see that a lot at Nordhagen Beach, those, uh, those fences there. Well, those are the covenant walls. Um, those won't work too well. I mean, although concrete would work rather well for, for making a barricade in the water. We're just gonna go with wood. And yes, I know it's not practical. Yes, I know it would rot, but uh, you know what? It's all pressure treated, okay? Just deal. <laughs> so, hope that's a little too low. We'll bump that up just a little bit, kind of tweak it a little bit. Yeah, it's pointed at the right angle. All right, we should be good to go. And because that first wall kind of curves back, uh, the, the, the snapping looks kind of weird because that piece is very straight up. It's very vertical. So, and I'm okay with different heights too. They don't all have to be the same height. I mean, this is scrappy. This, I still haven't figured out a good use for that piece. I don't know if I ever will. I mean, it has those braces on the back, which look cool, but I just, I don't know. So now I'm gonna run all the way out here and see if I can uh, reach it from here. It may just be a little bit far. Let's see if we can push it. <laughs> I love that gate. <laughs> I haven't used that gate, and I probably will never use that gate. But uh, the, the giant metal gate with the words fuck off across the top, <laughs> that's pretty funny. So here I'm trying to figure out why in the hell won't this snap. It's being a pain in the ass. Fine, I'll place it here, and then I'll just use place anywhere. And uh, snap that into place. There we go. Find us another piece. That one looks cool. I love the different heights and stuff like that. And it works well as a junk wall too, so. Yeah, see, we're getting there. Now can we fit this one last piece in? Let's squeeze one more in here. See if it'll go. Oh, look at that, it goes up high. Let's see if we can push it down. Of course, I don't know what's underneath there that, that's causing issues but we got it to go anyway. So now uh, we're protecting our water purifiers so anything that's floating on the water won't, won't bump into them and break them. And now I'm trying to figure out, okay, what do I want to do here? Well, we have this water inlet and it goes all the way up past, uh, past Saugus Iron Works and all that stuff. And it gets narrower and it becomes a little stream and stuff like that. But we've kind of segmented it off from the larger body of water that's behind us. Okay, that's cool. Let's do something with it. We know that, that, that even though we don't use any boats unless you're going to Far Harbor, and I don't know why that wouldn't snap there, but the only time we use a boat is when you go to Far Harbor, but we know that boats do work. We know that boats are on the water. So let's take advantage of that. We happen to have some mods that give us some boats, including the Port Royal. It gives us several boats that we can use. So let's make a small boat dock on this side so that we could have maybe some canoes or rowboats or something like that to sail this, this inlet where we don't have to worry about you know rougher seas because we're getting out toward, you know, we're getting into the bay and stuff like that. So Gonna make, we got three little docks here, so now we're gonna find some different boats. See, look at this little, this little sailboat here. Now that's a better boat. Nice rowboat there. And the trick is, and he actually has snap points on these boats, but the, see that snap point? 
it's like in the dock. I don't know exactly where the snap point is, what it's snapping to, which piece it's snapping to, but it snaps and like the wood pieces are going into it and stuff like that. And so, yeah, although I appreciate the snap points, it's not what I was wanting here. And now I'm just getting the level right so the water's not coming through the floor, but it's the boat's sitting down in the water a little bit more. See, look, no water there. That's awesome. All right, so now uh, should I put something over here? No, I don't want it to hit the, uh, the supports for all the stuff that we did on the tugboat. All right, so now we're going to try with the sailboat here. Missed. <laughs> all right, so let's put this little sailboat right there. Got to raise it up just a little bit because it's sitting, you know, the water's coming through the, the floor of it. There we go. All right, so now we're going to need a third boat. And I thought, let's go with something a bit whimsical. We could go with this little canoe, or we could go with the swan boat. You know what? Let's go with the full swan boat. Why not? It could be like a, like a paddle boat or something. So even though it's not a paddle boat. Paddle boat in, in the regards that you, you pedal the pedals and it moves the paddle in the background. Yeah, that kind of paddle boat. I know that people from all around the world are watching these videos, so sometimes I gotta make sure that I'm using the right terminology. So, there are our three boats, and I like that. And now I'm trying to see what else he has in here. We got our big whale. Uh, what I'm actually looking for is a way to, to attach the boats to the dock within the Port Royal. Yeah, that's way too big. You see, that's for a big old like tugboat. So, I can't find anything, so I'm going to go with something that I've done in the past, which is use uh, the conduit connectors. And I'm going to go with just, it doesn't matter what I'm using, those are just power pylons. But I'm just using it as a, as a point to connect a wire, because the wire can kind of be like a rope, as it were. So I'm going to get these placed out, and of course I'm having to use place anywhere to tie, or to put these in position. I'll scoot that boat back a little bit. There we go. And now I'm going to use the, the small connectors that we get from vault -Tec. These little white ones. And now I'll just be able to attach a wire between the two. And it'll look like it's lashed onto the dock. So that's what I'm going for there. There we go. I mean, it would look a whole lot better if I had actual, like, rope and, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. But and, uh, you got to do what you got to do, right? So here I'm sinking this down so that it actually looks like it's in the dock. And now I can't connect the, the stupid wire. And I think it's because the small connectors, like, the bench on the boat is getting in the way. So I'm going to end up moving that back and see if we can connect the wire that way. There we go. All right, so we got our boats. They're now all attached to our docks. And we are cooking along. Now, I wish I had oars. Now, I don't know if you guys watch Nacho Bidness, but that guy, he's an electronic genius when it comes to this game. He is really a cut above. And I was watching a video of his, and he had uh, one of those rowboats. Uh, he was doing his epilogue video for the evolution challenge and he actually used uh, some here I'm looking at different boats that are actually still in the water okay so we got a rowboat there we got that tugboat all right so there are some decent sized boats in this part on this side of the bridge kind of a thing so that's why I jumped over there real quick to take a look at that anyway Nacho used like uh, <laughs> he used some planks and some of the uh, some plywood and he set it up to make them look like they were bi these big huge paddles and it was it was funny but it was a great way of using the the resources that he had in the game I want to go with the sailboat I, I think that th that's cool and obviously this boat is in the game because that's where Ethereon got it from when he put it into this mod so now here I'm trying to get the level right Then I realized, you know what? The boat's not facing the right way. We need to turn that thing around. 
So we spin it around, and with Place Anywhere, we can make sure that we get it at the right height. No water sh you know, showing through the floor of the boat. And here I'm just kind of wandering around, making sure that there's no water anywhere. Not that anyone else is gonna get on the boat and wander around and go, oh look, you got water over here on this far side peeking through. Just my own brain having to cope with that, so. All right, so now we are going to attach this boat to our dock. And we are actually getting close to wrapping this thing up. I'm going with two mooring points uh, for the bigger boat, uh, simply because that makes sense that you would lash it towards the front and towards the rear to kind of keep it in place. And I could have gone a totally different direction with this because within the Port Royal mod, he's got these beautiful like concrete and stone uh, piers and stuff like that and it looks really really good see and i put this on that rail and it just this doesn't work out as well as i had hoped yeah see i'm trying to move it back so it's more in the toward the middle but now i can't select it to uh wire it so yeah there is that just moved it a little too far within the bounds of the boat. So we're gonna go ahead and reposition it again. I'm gonna fall in the water again, and we will get this knocked out. So yeah, so uh, go check out Nacho's, uh, at least uh, check out his uh, epilogue for the evolution of a supplement challenge. He did a wonderful job with that, as well as all the other, I'm doing air quotes here, competitors. Everyone did a wonderful job building in that series, or in that, in that. it wasn't a competition, it was a challenge. Uh, there was no prize to be won, it was just sharing ideas, and 20 of us started that thing, or 22, something like that started, and we had vastly different settlements at the end of that. All right, so we are wrapping this thing up, I'm trying to see if there's anything else that we need to do, and I don't think that there is. So let's go ahead and wrap this up and say I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any questions, comments, kicks, or complaints, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there, Wastelanders. This is Drake Invictus saying this has been the greatest day in my life. See ya!